What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the vast world of No Man's Sky. Guiding Light here with another guide. In this guide, I'm going to be going over how to get more inventory slots for yourself and for your ship. So first and foremost, if you want to get more inventory slots for yourself, the easiest and fastest way to do so is to get the Atlas Pass version 1. If you don't have that already, there's actually a guide for that on my channel. I'll leave a really quick link to that in the description if you need to go check that out in order to get Atlas Pass version 1. That is the fastest and easiest way to get more inventory slots. And I will get into more of that in a second. So once you have the Atlas Pass version 1, if you're looking for the easiest and fastest way to get inventory slots, all you actually have to do is just jump from one galaxy to another and visit the nearest space station in each galaxy. Every single space station you visit will have a unit upgrade in it, and all you have to do is go and purchase it. Now unfortunately, every single inventory you slot you buy will be more and more expensive. So the first one you buy is actually about 20k, and then the next one after that is about 40, 60, 80 and so on. So it does get quite expensive and you will need a fair amount of units in order to get more inventory slots as time goes on. So once you get Atlas Patch version 1, all you actually have to do is go into the space station and instead of going to the right door, just head to the left door and open that up with the Atlas Pass and you should find an inventory slot waiting to be purchased in there in every single space station you visit. Now while you're in that space station, if you'd like some more inventory spots for your ship, you can actually go up to any alien in the space station and make an offer for their ship. So these space stations will have different ships depending on the galaxy and depending on the, the race that is actually there. Now these ships can range anywhere from about 4 or 500k to about 5 million coins. Now more expensive ships will have more inventory slots, more types of damages, and there's actually different classes of ships. So if you're actually looking for a very specific ship, you will have to wait at a space station for quite some time. Now there are also some other ways to find ships, inventory slots, and personal inventory slots throughout the universe, so I'm going to show you my tips on those as well. So if you're ever flying throughout a planet and happen to have a really good eyesight and catch a glimpse of one of these silver glowing pods with a blue light around it, you will want to go ahead and land if you're in search of any inventory slots. Now unfortunately you will still have to pay a pretty fair amount of money, each one will still be more expensive, even if you find that on the planet it will not be free. And these units can spawn in random locations just about anywhere on any planet. The easiest and fastest way is to just go to the space stations where you know it'll be a guarantee every time. But if you're out exploring a planet and you end up stumbling across one of these pods as well, you can also buy the inventory slots from here. They will be about the same price no matter how where you buy it from. It, they're still going to be more expensive the more that you buy. And no matter how many you buy, it will always be more expensive the next time when you buy another inventory slot. So I've got about 25 inventory slots. I haven't reached any sort of max. I'm not sure if you can reach a maximum amount of inventory slots or just how expensive they can get. But the more you go on throughout the game, the more inventory slots you will come across. Now the same can be said for abandoned ships. If you see any abandoned ships or broken down ships throughout planets, you can go to them and actually get them for free. The only thing you'll have to do is repair some of the parts, just like you did for your original ship when you started the game. So hopefully this guide did help you out. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for future No Man's Sky guides. Now if you have not seen my video on how you can actually do the maximum DPS and shoot more than one gun at the same time in No Man's Sky, be sure to click on the screen right now to take you there, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.